What's up, YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pull a vacuum on your car's AC system. And what you're going to need for this is a set of AC manifold gauges and a vacuum pump. I rented both of these at my local AutoZone. First things first is we're going to set up the manifold gauges through the red hose down here on the bottom of the red side. Screw the blue hose down here on the blue side. Now we're going to screw the yellow hose on right in the middle. Now we got these little connectors. That these are going to snap into our high and low sides on our AC system. And we'll put the blue one right on the end of the blue hose. And this red one right on the end of the red hose. Go ahead and hang this up. There we go. Now our yellow line right here, this is going to run down. This is going to screw right down on the top of our vacuum pump. Screw that down. So now we got to put these on the high and low sides of our AC lines. On this car, the high side's right here. And uh, just snaps on. You don't worry about getting these mixed up. The high and low side, uh, these will only fit on the high and low side ports. So you can't get them mixed up. If you have trouble finding these uh, AC lines, this is your AC condenser right here in the front and the AC lines will be coming out usually one on each side and you can just follow these lines to find the ports and the ports usually have these little caps here's the low side over here on the left snap that one on okay now you want to make sure that these are in the open position so on these you turn uh, clockwise to open these ones right here there we go Okay, now on our gauges here, we want to make sure these are closed, and these just turn regular. Clockwise will be to close. Make sure these are closed to start out with. Okay, so this vacuum, you can, you're going to do this to check to see if you have a leak. We'll pull a vacuum, then we'll hold the vacuum, and if it holds that pressure, that means there's no leak in the system. But also, you need to do a vacuum on your system if you're going to recharge it and all of your refrigerant is out because you can't have any air in the system. So here, up here are gauges. Little green part right here from 0 to 30. That's going to read our vacuum. So now we go ahead and turn on our little Ghostbusters ghost catcher. You know it totally looks like it. Okay. Now we're going to open both the low and high sides of these. Now these are open all the way. Now if you look at the gauge, it's going down to 30. And it should be around 29 or 30 pounds of uh, inches of mercury. You should be able to hold about 29 or 30. And that'll mean it's got a good... Uh, good vacuum but if you can't even hold 2930 vacuum that means you definitely got a big leak all right so now once you got at 30 if you can get to 30 we're gonna go ahead and close these off both of them good and tight and we can turn off our vacuum pump now the system is under vacuum and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to let this uh, set for about an hour. And we want this to keep at 30 right here. That'll mean it's uh, holding the vacuum and there's no leaks. All right. It's been an hour and it's still holding 30 where it was when I first closed it. So that's a good sign. So that means it's not uh, leaking anything out of the vacuum. And uh, so now I know I don't have any leaks. So if you were going to recharge the system, you're going to want to go ahead and run your vacuum for about 30 minutes to an hour to get all the air out. Then you can connect your refrigerant to this yellow line and uh, add that to your system and then you can read it right here on the low side. Alright, and that is how to vacuum your AC system out guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for me, uh, comment, like, uh, check out my other videos, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY, keep on doing it yourself guys.